Season's greetings, everyone. I'm Janie here at the Lee Kempner House in Galveston, Texas. I'm the president of the nonprofit that was set up to restore and preserve this incredible house here on Galveston Island. And in our house, Santa came a little early this year. I have some very, very exciting news to share with you guys today. We were approved by the Kempner Fund for a grant to get our roof fixed in 2024. We are beyond excited. If you know anything about this house, if you watched any of the videos, you know that water is not our friend. It comes from the top, it's come from the bottom, it's come in from the sides. We have spent the last three years fighting water at every level. And getting that last 50% of the roof replaced is kind of the end game for us. We think we will be done, knock wood somewhere with water issues for now. So we are so appreciative of the Kempner Fund for that grant. It's our very first grant request. As most of you know, we're a new nonprofit. It's been exactly one year since my husband and I turned the house over to the nonprofit and got started on this journey. So we are so blessed to be receiving that just after one year of operation. And I'll do a much longer video later after I have a chance to do some research. There's a very interesting story about the Kempner Fund and the tie to this house. But I don't want to get into that now with the holidays and everybody busy. I know everybody's got a lot going on. So for today, I just want to share with you guys that news and show some clips from the past year that didn't make the cut in our earlier videos. When we come back in the new year, we'll start on year four, I can't believe it, of restoration of this house. And I'll get in a little deeper into that information about the fund and all the things they do and the tie back to this house. Talk about what we did and show a recap of the last year and visit uh, with you on our plans for 2024 and well, where we'll be heading. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope you are surrounded by family and friends and loved ones and enjoy this special time of the year. And we look forward to having you back in the new year. Okay, we assembled the new scaffolding and we're using it to get this weird Moroccan, Spanish, something light fixture down. He didn't wait for you. Oh, good. <gasps> Coming my way. No, you can just leave it. Let's see what it is. Okay. One light bulb. Okay, we were commenting on how deep this closet is and how impractical, but then my friend Glenn noticed that the bars are adjustable so they could do off season storage. Hang clothes in the back, then add a bar and hang multi layers of clothes. It's so humid today, you can see bubbles all over the paint. Let's 
good to let Mother Nature help you. I found a screwdriver. I actually need that. I don't have that size. This is just a spot that continues to worry me. Uh, in the morning, there's a lot of dew and condensation on the house and it drips everywhere. But this wet spot on the wall always appears and it's the only place on the house that does that and there's nothing dripping on it. So I don't know what it is about that little section that causes this moisture to appear. Oh, I found. That. Back out of here. Oh, go out my house door. Okay, we had an animal or something bring up a bag of groceries and then some other animal came and got the bag of flour that was in there and tried to take it home with them. Looks like the farther they drug it, the less they had to carry. they did with it. Oh, there it is over there. Thanks to the break-in, we're going to have door rebuilding day. I'm going to try first on the side door.
Take a look at the third floor. Sometimes things have to get messier before they get better. I did get my table all cleaned off and wiped up and my drop cloth in the wash and everything looked great in here. My husband took the dogs on a walk and came back and found this. My daughter came over yesterday and she helped me sand and clean all of the wood. This came from the ceiling of the sun porch that we took down to make room for the plumbing and it was brittle and shattered and couldn't be reused. So we've cut it up to make Christmas decorations out of it. So it's all ready to go. So I was going to start painting, but I went up in my art drawer and it was a disaster. I used to paint, so I have a lot of stuff, brushes and paints and things I haven't in years and years and years. And of course, when it's in a drawer like this, you can't find what you need. So now I'm going to have to sit and sort all this out. It's got furniture, glue, brushes, all kinds of stuff in it. So I've got to sort it out, find the right brushes. I did find some old paint. I don't even know if it's good anymore. I'll have to check that out and see. But just one more step in the process. So, so what are you working on now? I'm working on what hopefully will not be a Pinterest fail. <laughs> I, I bought some oyster shell, oyster shells. <laughs> That's that, easy for you to that, say. That six times fast. This is something called Sculpty, which is a, a bake to cure a polymer, and it didn't stick real well to the shell. And it said online sometimes after you bake them, you have to pull them off and then glue them on. So his little mustache wasn't stuck well, so I did have to break it off and then glue it back on. I think I'd rather just have old-fashioned clay, but he did turn out kind of, kind of cute. I'm not quite finished shading his little face. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Leek Kempner House in Galveston. Joe and I are at Dickens on the Strand this morning. There's Joe in her fancy bonnet. We have the same bonnet. You'll see hers is fancy. <laughs> Mine, not so much. I have on borrowed clothes. Some of us are slackers. Some of us were slackers. Some of us were busy hand some painting. Of us, some of us did bonnets instead of this. <laughs> some of us were busy painting. So, Stephanie. Complete stop. Let's get it up. I have to say, you must agree, Your Majesty, they are 
absolute stickers for the rules. They may be the slight snack, but they are in this to win this. And they are about to embark on the last leg of the race. So here's what a day off from the league house looks like. I'm still doing league projects. These are all the lemons that came off that tree, the infamous tree that I was going to show Pepper how to pick lemons from when I rolled my ankle and broke it. But today I've been juicing and it's quite the process because I had to wash them and then bleach them a little bit to sanitize them. and pick through and find the bad ones because where they hit the ground, some of them bruised and rotted. And then here. and juice. And I've been doing it for about an hour and a half now. I'm up to about a gallon and a half of juice. I weighed these guys. I had about 200 pounds of lemons to do and that doesn't count what's still up in the tree and all the ones that we gave away. So. Welcome. That's it, folks. Merry Christmas. I will see you in the new year, and hopefully I will be boot-free and back at work. The holly bears are bearing, as red as any blood, and Mary had a little baby boy, for to do poor sinners good. Oh, the rising of the sun, and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry horn. Yeah, he's, a, he's actually a raven. That's Edgar Allan Poe with him and his raven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he's fine. If you ever get a chance to see him, he's great. Yeah, he reads poetry.